Hey everyone, happy Friday. I have so many good things to show you. I also have a couple of videos that are coming up. I have ordered the new Chantecaille collection with the shimmery lipstick. I'm hoping that's a winner. I ordered the new YSL All Hours Foundation. One of you told me that they have, I don't know if they've reformulated it. I'll have to read about it, but I know they redid the shade names. And I'm thinking when they do that, they usually may, you know, they may change a few things. And then I have an Express try-on haul coming up. With that said, I'm gonna show you a pair of pants that I wore yesterday, and I wore them on purpose to get video and to get pictures to compare to the pants that I'm wearing today. So if that interests you, make sure you stay tuned. The first thing I want to show you is this, which I love it. I'm going to keep it, but this again is another reason you need to check the dimensions. <laughs> One of you guys sent me this pillow or sent me the picture of it on Instagram and I had to have it. It's like everything I like. Merry Christmas with the tiger and then it says, you filthy animal. You remember that from um, what is it, Home Alone? To me, that was one of the funniest parts is when they were listening in. I love this. I'm not the biggest decoration type person. It gets, it gets on my nerves. When my kids were little, I mean, I had it everywhere. I did it for them. It was Scooby-Doo, everything. I mean, I, you guys remember my huge Christmas tree, but now I like it a little simpler and I thought this was perfect. I don't know where I'll end up putting it. Of course, I thought it was gonna be like a full-size pillow, but I thought you guys might like it. It's very, very Gucci-esque, and I love it. I love it. I love everything about it. I love the colors, the tiger. I love that it's Christmas, and I love what it says. So I wanted to show you in case you wanted to order it too. The next big thing I want to show you, I know there was no doubt in your mind that I had another handbag coming. If you missed my video that I posted yesterday, it is bags that I regret buying. I ended up ordering this little beauty. This is the YSL Nikki Baby. And it is a very unique bag to me. I love it. It is gorgeous, you guys. The craftsmanship on this is amazing. Matter of fact, if those of you that have been here, you know that I'm friends with Sheila Fajal. She's a Brazilian jewelry designer and she has the best taste. She's like us. She likes classy, nice, but edgy type things. And so we were texting back and forth and I asked her what bag she was loving these days. And she said she was still loving her Chanel bags. She has like the, a lot of the Tweed 19 and she even has that um, Sherpa one. But she said that she really loved her YSL Nikki bag. Now she has the larger one. I think it's just one size up from this, the small. But I really wanted to try this smaller one because you can wear it regular, like over your shoulder or you can just pull one of the strings and wear it as a crossbody. I did some footage yesterday, so hopefully I'll be putting that in here, but it's just gorgeous. I love the crackled leather. It just makes it even edgier, and I loved this. Now, you guys know I love a good old gold emblem, so I'm going to get something else with the gold on it. But for this, I just thought it was amazing. Now it has the back pocket so you, and it's magnet. So you can put your phone for easy access. And then it has this magnet. It has this little pocket in the front where I put my little card holder and then I crammed my bag in there. Yesterday was the first day I've been out and it's the first time I've been able to use this. So I will probably take this bag and just put my regular stuff in here, but um, that's the bag I use to kind of switch from purse to purse. I could probably use a smaller one, but I just love it. The price is decent as far as designer bags go, and I see many more YSL bags in my future. I know a lot of you said that you love the padded ones. The only reason I didn't get that is because I already have the black Chanel 19, but I still may get it. 
and I love the college bag because it has the top handle. I just can't decide if I want the small or the medium because it's like one of them, I like the strap, and then one of them, I like the size. So, and then there's, there's so many good YSL bags. So I just wanted to show you my new bag and I will let you know how I feel about it after I've used it a few weeks, but so far, so good. These little beauties, you may remember that I've already ordered several pair of these in different colors. They're the Schutz Ariel. It's one of their best sellers. I wore these. Let me get them. It's just the nude ones. I wore these at the conference. I don't know how many times, probably three times, including the last night, including walking home, these shoes are amazing. To have this look and be this sexy and this high of a heel and look like this and be as comfortable as they are, it's really amazing. So I wanted to order this, the black, let me get on purpose, did the white background today, the black velvet. So the first pair of pants I got are these. If you are on Instagram at all, you have probably seen these. They're called Ripley. It's a designer from Los Angeles. Her name is Ripley Raider. That's kind of like a tongue twister. And she has made these pants really popular. She also sells them in different colors and with a little top to go with it. I just ordered the black ones. I actually ordered these to go out of town and they didn't get here in time, but they are just known. They're called the magic pant and they're known to be so flattering. They come up really high. They're kind of like a ponte knit. They have the seams down the front and as you can see, they are the wide leg. But when I was on the Express website, I noticed these pants, which are part of their, not shapewear, but you guys know what I mean, kind of like shaping collection. They're the small and they are very similar. They do not have the seam down the front and they're made of a little bit more of a shiny, kind of like that scuba type fabric. These are more of your true Ponte knit, but they're very, very similar. I do think that these come up a little bit higher and I think these are, I hate to say nicer, but nicer, but they're much more expensive. I will wear both of them. They're both very, very flattering. When you get these, even in the box, it says that you're gonna to have to shimmy the waist over your hips, but then you will see the magic, and it's so true. You just shimmy it just a little bit, and then it comes up, and I really think it nips you in and just gives you the best shape. It is just, it's exactly what I like. Elevated basic, an elevated basic, exactly. Like you could wear these with anything. They would be your go-to pants. I also really like the ones from Express. So I'm so glad that I did that little test. These I think may have a little bit more of the shaping like throughout. These are just more of a thick fitted. They're not like the Spanx pant. When I got the Spanx pant years ago, when it first came out, they were a little too thick and shaping for me. These are not thick like that, it, neither one. They're very, very, very comfortable, I will say that. Now, yesterday I wore this one with a, probably my favorite, favorite cropped tee. It's from Everlane, and I highly recommend you getting that because it's just such a good shape and it's cropped, but in the best way. It's not cropped like your belly button hang out. It's just cropped to give you that look, kind of like this little tweed vest. This is old from Zara, but I really like this shape where it's cropped and wider, and that really gives you that really good shape. Okay, I've got makeup coming up next, I promise. This is a pair of boots. I actually ordered these and the little heels that I have on at the same time. 
These are from Schutz. They are a version of my very favorite boots, the Mariana boot. I've never tried the block heel, but last time I showed you guys the ones that I bought that are just the kind of um, ankle Mariana. One of you said that last time I showed these, you bought the block heel version and you loved them. That you said that they were your go-to boots. They were so comfortable. So I had that on my mind and then they came out with these that have the Western print. And I thought, oh my goodness, this is the perfect way to wear that Western cowboy boot, but not feel awkward. Now with that said, I will wear a cowboy boot in a heartbeat and I don't feel awkward, but sometimes I'm not in the mood. You have to be in the mood. You have to have that vibe going that day. This I think is something very easy. I think this is would go with any pair of leggings. This would go with dresses. This would go with anything. This is just a really versatile, versatile boot. And the price is pretty good. It's not leather, it's faux leather, but I think that's just the thing now. And it does make them incredibly light. And they do have the zipper on the inside. Now, I did order a pair of casual cowboy boots that I forgot to show you guys. It, I had a crazy month, okay. I had Will with COVID about four or five weeks ago. And then the next week was when I was getting ready to go to go out of town. So I was doing, remember I did a whole bunch of videos that I posted to make up for the time I would be gone. Then the next week I was out of town. And then the last two weeks I've had COVID. So it's just been crazy. So I'm playing catch up here. Let me go get the other boots that I got. I ordered these from Urban Outfitters. I don't even know if they're still available, but they are a good casual knock around, throw on with a sweatshirt, feeling that vibe cowboy boot. Here they are. They kind of remind me of the Ariat boot, but I was watching a girl. I cannot remember her name. She's a petite girl from like the UK that does a lot of handbag and high-end videos. She was just going on and on about how much she loved these. She said they were very similar to a pair that it wasn't Rosie Huntington Whiteley. Oh, it was the Emily Rakowski. I don't know how to pronounce her last name, was wearing a pair of boots like these. And then she showed the pictures and I was like, oh, I love that. It was just in a very casual way, like with leggings or, you know, sweatpants or something like that. But you can see the difference that I'm talking about. See how this one's more of that casual vibe. This one's gonna give you a little bit more of a dressy look. It's just an interesting little combo, I think. Okay, so here we go with some more Vive makeup. And I ordered this. So many of you sent me pictures of this and I ordered it immediately. I mean, could this be any more me? I love it, I love it. So this is the 90s palette. When I opened this, it is just a, a thing of beauty. Just joy, pure joy. Very rarely will you see a palette with these colors. They're just gorgeous. Her eyeshadows are so good. It's just so good. So I did use this today. You know, I'm a 90s girl, I was born in 70. So my 20s or the 90s. And so I think that's why I'm so drawn to the 90s. And I also ordered this, which if I had to say these two products I'm getting ready to show you, are must-haves. Like these are the things, this, the palette is gorgeous. I love it. I used it yesterday. I did a darker look. I used it today. But these two palettes are for everyone. I think they are gorgeous and I'm just so excited. Okay, the first thing is her modern bronzer. I got medium, it says medium one and medium two. Just beautiful. I mean, I like this so much better than the Victoria Beckham or even the Wayne Goss or, I mean, they're just smooth. The texture is gorgeous. The tone is gorgeous. She knows what she's doing. These are just beautiful. So what I did as I started out both days, I knew I wanted a little bit 
of warmth in my crease. And I do recommend doing that. Even when you're doing a cool tone look, start out with a warm tone, just your bronzer. So I started off with this both days and just, even if you just use this for your crease color, it is beautiful. No skipping, no patching, no big blotches, no fallout. Just 10 out of 10 couldn't be better. Just gorgeous. And then the next palette I ordered, and I almost, you know, just picked one. I'm so glad I ordered them both because they're different. This one is a Dimension Face Palette in Dawn. So it's got a blush, a blush intense, highlighter, and bronzer. And let's see, I today have on the Highlighter, very similar to that same thing I showed you with the Laura Mercier in my last Sephora video that I will put up here. Just gives your cheeks that good dimension. And then I used this for blush. And I don't think I used this today. I used it yesterday just to try it, but gorgeous. Now, which one would I recommend? I guess if you really want to highlight in a blush, I would recommend getting this palette. If you're more into the bronzer, of course I would get the other palette. I recommend getting them both because they're beautiful, beautiful. They make me very happy as you can tell. Oh gosh, did you guys notice? Don't call it a comeback. <laughs> Short nails, loving them. I went to get my nails done yesterday and I could not wait to get my nails cut. I cannot believe how long they just kept growing. They were making my hands sore because I have little baby nail beds. So when my nails get long, it puts a lot of pressure on my fingertips. And it was making me where I could hardly type or text. So this morning I was just commenting back to everyone. Thinking, oh, I love my little short nails, especially dark. So they're back. Okay, now let's go on to my misses with Vive. I cannot get her lipstick and lip liners. I did like that last cherub pink one, and I love her lip do. To me, this is one of her hero products. This is what I have on today. I have it on with Iconic Nude from Charlotte Tilbury because I wanted to go with that 90s look, but I did order her lip liner in Brat, and I, I'm not saying I won't use this because I probably will, I do like it. I like the formula. It just wasn't quite what I needed. It's almost like um, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk, which you guys know I don't wear that. It seems like I like something just a little bit cooler toned and a little bit darker. I really wanted to like this. It's the 90s matte lipstick. Okay, this ooh, was not good on me. It looked like mud, like worse than mud. I won't even say it. It just did not look good on me. But the winter is coming. <laughs> winter is coming. And it may look good when I'm, I don't think this is going to look good on me anytime, but it may look good on some of you if you're more fair than I am. All in all, a good, good package. I love it. I love her makeup. Okay, for accessories, I have on my newest favorite Jenny Bird necklace. Doesn't it have the slightest bit of Dior vibes? I really think it does. And then when I was putting on these earrings, I realized they do too. Look at these earrings. They're just a good like fat hoop with the ball for the closure or the backing. And you know, that reminds me of those Dior earrings. They're not hard to get in and they're not hard to put on and they're just really cool looking. Lincoln Park After Dark, loving the short nails again, and my Rolex watch that I left in Dallas, but was lucky enough to get back. If you missed that video, I will put it up here because I think that was the beginning of my foggy COVID brain. I think that was happening that day. Now that I think back, because I was very overwhelmed that day, and kind of sad feeling, and that is how it makes you feel. So I think that was starting to go on, and I think that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that you saw something you can grab this weekend. I have lots of good videos coming up. So stay tuned, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.